Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'm doing a, a painting with Posca pens. I, I don't know if I should call it a painting or not when I use Posca pens. It's just it's more like a drawing painting type of thing. Um, but it still uses acrylic paint, so, you know, there's that. Uh, I just want to say Happy New Year because at the time that I'm recording this narration, it's January 19th, so still can say Happy New Year as long as it's January, I think, but yeah. So basically what I'm doing here is just, I don't know what I call this, I call it like swirl lines because they're not, they're made with lines but they're like swirly kind of. I do this a lot, well I used to do this a lot more, probably back in like 2017, 2018, I used to do like this a lot for my background and stuff. It's kind of like my thing I guess, but yeah, um, so I'm just filling the canvas, well the corners of the canvas with this for right now. I didn't sketch it out because I had my sketchbook uh, beside me and I had like a small kind of test drawing I did that had the swirl lines already on it. And when I do swirl lines, I don't sketch it out first, I usually just draw it. So, yeah. So this piece is actually one of the pieces I'm including in my portfolio because I'm applying to OCAD, U, OCAD University, Ontario College Art of Design University. I don't know why they call it a university of colleges in the name, but <laughs> anyways, it's, it's a university here in Toronto. It's for art and design. I mean, it's in the name, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not in school anymore, actually, this whole year since October because I was at UTM and I was doing school online. I was actually doing forensic science. I really liked forensic science. I enjoyed it. It's just when everything moved online, I just, I lost it. Like, I couldn't do it anymore. It was really bad. Um, Mentally, and I know that for OCAD they're also doing everything online, but I mean it's a little different. It's not like you're just well. I mean you are you are sitting at lectures and stuff online, but I don't know. It's just different. It's not the same thing. And I know when I was um when I was in grade 12, actually applying for like university and stuff, I wanted to apply to OCAD. I like checked it off and like paid the fees like, on UAC when you apply, like if you're in Ontario, you know what I'm talking about, but like you check you, know, you check off the um, universities you want to apply to and you have to pay like a fee that you're applying to, and I did all that and everything, but I didn't end up wanting to apply there anymore, so I, I still have to pay that money, I have to pay my mom back, but yeah, um, I didn't end up actually applying there, I didn't make a portfolio or anything, so yeah, um, I just, I don't know, this year, like, well, last year during the beginning of quarantine and the beginning of lockdown and everything, I had a really bad mental health crisis, I went to the hospital and everything, it was really bad, like, you know, now I'm fine, but like, at the time, I was just... Like, I wasn't sleeping properly, wasn't eating properly, wasn't exercising, wasn't doing anything like that. I wasn't being healthy, basically. And I had to go to the hospital, and it was really a low point in my life. That's when I realized, like, I don't want to be doing something that, like, I don't have the passion for. Not to say I didn't have the passion for forensic science. I really, I really did. I loved it a lot. Because when I was doing research, I wanted to do something that involved science and also the Canadian legal system. Because forensic science is basically you're analyzing evidence for criminal cases, and 
I really liked that idea. I thought inc it incorporated everything that I wanted, like justice and law and science, and it included everything I liked. It also kind of was creative in a way, like you gotta, like for some techniques you can probably like be creative in how you find certain evidence, I don't know, I kind of, I guess, I don't know. Because I, I remember there was these like brown paper bag talks about like finger lifting analysis and stuff like that involves creativity, like, anyways, that's besides the point, now I'm applying to OCAD U. And yeah, um, knock on wood that I get it. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that I do. I selected some pieces for my portfolio that I made in 2020, and then I made some new things like um, animation and stuff because I'm applying to integrated media, digital painting, um, and expanded animation. So. Yeah, I made some animation pieces, and I try to show my diverse range of making things, I guess. Um, I really wish I had applied at grade 12, because I was like on the track to apply, and I just didn't. And I, if I had actually made a portfolio and actually applied, that would have been like so much better. I would have like had the choice, because I was so indecisive when it came to applying to schools and stuff. I applied to I applied to UFT, like the downtown campus, UTM, which I ended up going with, but now not. I applied to... Where else did I apply? I know I applied to somewhere else. Oh, Ryerson I applied to... Um, I think I did three only. Yeah, I think those three. But yeah. So now I'm applying to OCAD. Also, the reason why I colored that background in metallic gold Posca pen first was because I wanted a base and I forgot that I had these metallic paints and when I was looking in my painting drawer, I found them so I just, I wanted it to look more metallic that like you saw earlier when I was painting the background. But now we're getting kind of to the end of the video. Um, drawing all these eyes actually took so long to do. Well, uh, I, kind of. I expected it to take a longer time. Obviously, there are like small details they need to draw in. And with, I had to change the white pen that I was using. Um, this one is Uniball Signo white gel pen, and the other one is a Jelly Roll gel pen. And the jelly roll is just a little less opaque, and so I had to redo all the whites that I had colored in with jelly roll. I had to redo, redo them with the Uniball Signo gel pen, so they were more opaque. And yeah. So now I'm just signing and dating. The painting and yeah, finish this on December 31st, 2020. Uh, yeah, the last piece for 2020. So, here I'm just showing you the metallicness and like all the details of the drawing slash painting. Sorry, I keep calling it drawing, but it's a painting kind of ish, but yeah. I guess my favorite part of this is probably the squiggly lines slash squirrely lines slash I don't know what to call it, the lines. That's my favorite part. And yeah. So we're getting towards the ending of the video. Just want to say thanks for watching. And subscribe if you haven't. Because I plan on making... Uh, I don't, don't hold me up to this, but I'm planning on making a video every month because I want to make it a goal to do an art piece every month of this year, so whoop whoop, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye!